Hello there, welcome to my review of uh, Vallejo um, Air War RAF colours for Bomber and Training Command. Most of us out there have built quite a few RAF World War II aircraft and when you're looking online you see people with different sort of tones of sort of green and brown and uh, I was quizzing someone on Instagram and they'd used um, this colour set so I thought I'd buy it and give it a go they're not cheap um 20 pounds sterling and i thought because of that it might be worth just doing a little quick review so other people can see what it is and what i've come across and i can show an example of the uh, the results uh, hopefully without any filters on um so it, it's nice and glossy the um the air wars um series i have got other air war series uh, vietnam and the silver darts the the contents is comes in the bottles, standard bottles that we all get sort of used to sort of seeing. They're quite handy. As you know, model air is for airbrushing and model colour uh, is for um, doing more brush work with figures. That would need, uh, model, mod, model colour would need thinning. Um, model air doesn't although i do put a drop sometimes of the thinner into the airbrush just to almost just loosen it up a little bit really but not much it doesn't need much or you'll have sort of problems um getting the sort of coverage that you want with it um the pack comes get out bottles it also comes with some quite glossy um sort of instructions usually you just get um like color charts uh, with uh, vallejo but this one, it's quite good. It's almost like a poster. So you get a poster of the, the, the different planes uh, in the different theatres of war during the Second World War. You can even see there, there's a, there's a Spitfire. You can't do, you can't paint everything, obviously, from this set. This must be sort of a, a general sort of uh, one fit um, covers all, really. Um, but it's, it's a good guide if you just wanted to buy the odd paint. Uh, as long as it's not just part of a series and you can't buy it individually. So that's quite good. I'm quite impressed with that. So as far as coverage goes and colour, this is a horser that I've been working on at the moment. Um, I've been quite pleased with the green. I mean, it's got a wash on. It's got like a brown wash on in the panels. Uh, it's had a clear coat of, um, of pledge uh, as well. Um, the one problem I did get um, was the paint coming away. Um, I used Tamiya primer on this, which I tend to with planes because you're handling them more than a tank tank. I'll just go straight in and put um, a black paint down as, as primer and move on from that. But it sort of came away with the Tamiya tape. Um, and you can, I don't know whether it picks it up in the light. You can just see where I have sanded it down, but you can still see it. Um, and you can see where the, the black has, has come away as well. Um, it's a bit annoying when you when you when you put hours and hours into these kits. Um, I think next time I'll probably try and use the um, Vallejo um, primer and see how that goes. Really, and like I said, I, I spent I let it dry overnight, so it wasn't sort of I was in a, a sort of mad panic rush. But the actual colours, I'm really really pleased with. Um, it's come out really, really, really well. Um, there's other brands out there, um, but um, I've tended to use sort of Tamiya a lot. Um, I've airbrushed with Ravel, though it is hard work, and uh, and Humbrol. Humbrol I'm not too impressed with, with um, some of their colours. Um, but the general results I'm quite pleased about. So I, I hope you've found this sort of information useful. I'll try and do some more and show the examples um, with, the, with the other sets that I've got. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Cheers. Bye-bye.